Uh, welcome to another Bangla tutorial. Probably this is uh, the 10th uh, tutorial. I'm showing or 11th, probably something like that. Anyway, guys, uh, today I'm gonna show you uh, the clothing in Bangla or Bengali, whatever way they uh, pronounce it, or and uh, what is gonna be the you know Bangla meaning of the clothing that we use mostly in Bangladesh and uh, here. Okay, clothing in Bangla or Bengali. So we don't need it anymore. Let me bring the tutorial. Okay. I'm gonna give you some great news. It's really easy. Uh, why this is great? Because you don't have. These are also spoken in Bangla as well. Same. You don't have to learn those. Pant, pant. Sweater, sweater. Same thing. Jacket, jacket. Belt, belt. These four you don't have to worry about learning Bangla because these are strictly same thing. You don't have to learn. You don't have to. No worry, guys. I made it easy, huh? No, it's not me. It was like this. Anyway, guys, here comes the tutorial again. Shirt, you can say jama, but in Bangla, the good news is they also say, say shirt a lot. So if you say shirt, that's going to be okay. That's why I put, you know, slash and shirt. T -sh for t shirt, there is one word, Genji. This is in Bangla, they, a lot of people call Genji. But if you say t shirt, especially in city area, that should be okay in Bangladesh or any other place. Yeah, I mean, like, not back or Kolkata, or I mean Kolkata. And then, uh, by the way, I went to Kolkata uh, uh, and I stayed there for one week. Okay, shoe juta and shoe you can also say shoe. Watch ghori. Okay, there's wrist watch hat ghori. You can say wrist watch hat ghori. But watch ghori. But this okay. Then again. You know, I'm dividing, I'm, uh, let me make those smaller because these are different groups. This group, you, there is slash, that means what? You can either use these or these, no problem. But this is a strictly different thing. I'll say, so let me make those smaller. Okay, now uh, pay attention on this. Watch Ghori. It's, uh, in, uh, in English, they call Surrey in the uh, America and in English they call sorry in uh, Bangla they call Shari so just put H that's it or you can just okay don't, don't worry about if you don't worry about all those okay make it easy for you okay just H Shari in Bangla they call Shari that's kind of you know long clothing wrapped around the woman's body uh, and it's like a, it's huge piece of clothing you guys know that what Shari means Shawl is in English they call shawl or in Bangla you call shawl. That's it. It's pretty simple shawl. So these two words, sorry, shari, and it's pretty the same, but there is little difference when you pronounce it. I think you got it. Shawl and shawl. Shari, sorry, shari. Scarf, scarf or not? Okay, scarf women wears. I mean, girls wear scarf, you know, with three pieces, like uh, in Pakistan, India, and Bangladesh. Those places, you know, they wear three pieces. You guys saw that. So, in three pieces, there is orna, uh, you can orna a scarf. And if you say scarf, uh, a lot of people will understand, but it still it has a Bangla meaning, orna. Glass, chashma. Yeah, people wear glass optics, you know, they call chashma. I should have, I could have put optics here, but anyway, it's called chosh, C -S -O -S, chashma. Joshma. Okay, socks is moja. It's moja. Often people call moja, so it's between moja, M O or M U. Moja. Okay, this is how you pronounce moja. Socks moja. Then three pieces of salar kameez is same. You in Bangla or English is same, whatever you call this. If you don't bother to learn salar kameez, if it's too hard for you, don't worry about it. If you can call three pieces until and un until you learn salar kameez. Three pieces. Women, especially young women, uh, young girls uh, wear it a lot. The three pieces in Bangladesh and India, and in Pakistan they all they were that's the thing they wear. They hardly wear sari in Pakistan, or I think they don't wear at all. So three pieces you can call uh, and lungi. Okay, in Bangladesh uh, they wear lungi a lot. Lungi is a Burmese word. It comes from Burma because in Burma or Myanmar they wear lungi a lot. It's like a, you know, it's like a scarf, but without belt. So you need to uh, make a knot 
around your stomach or belly around your I mean belly you need to make a knot guys wear it is pretty much like you know a scarf sorry a scarf it's called lungi in Bangla or in English everything uh, is called lungi and Sakarmi's word all right that's the you know that's the tutorial for today guys I try to remember watch it over and over again and please like the video and please leave a comment uh, which uh, one you like which one you don't like and which one you want to see please make sure you subscribe for the next video thank you viewers thank you for watching